How to use the Browse Orders page. To access the Browse Orders page, click on Orders in the left navigation, then click on Browse Orders. You can also access it from the top menu by selecting here and displaying the drop-down. If you click on the status, those jobs will be loaded for you when you land on the Browse Orders page. There are several filters that you can use, including turnaround time, quantity, and cutoff time. You can also restrict jobs by specific regions. So if you do have a national reach, you can look to see which jobs are going in which, in which shipping region. If you'd like to view jobs in a specific status, click on the status name. If you'd like to view jobs across multiple statuses, click the check boxes next to the status name. To get a preview of the job specifications, hover your mouse over the mag glass next to the job, and that will show you all the specifications. The different columns on this page mean different things. TA is for turnaround time. EX is for extras, such as folds or scores. This will be signified with a letter. Files. If there is a number here, that means the file has not been prepped and is not ready for production, and it will show you how many files have been uploaded to the job. If the checkbox is present, that means the job has been pre-flighted, as in pre-press or in production. Then we see the Jobs Orders column, which will display the job and order ID numbers. External reference number. This is something that's only viewed by you or administrators. This cannot be seen by the customer. The job name. You or the customer can give the job a name. The customer's name, status, how much collected, and the sales rep associated with the job. You can also jump directly to a customer's profile page by clicking their name on this page. The most powerful functions of this page are the mass updates, which can be accessed here at the bottom of the list by clicking this drop-down. This includes changing the status, work orders, paid, tracking number, external reference, and much more. To perform one of these functions, select the function that you wish to perform, and then check the box next to the jobs you wish to apply it to. Once you've selected the jobs you wish to apply, then click Update. In this instance, this will print the box label for us on all of these jobs. If you have not done so already, please be sure to watch the Job Statuses Explained video.